get ready to witness the magic of combining an AI tool. In this case, we're looking at the Claude uh, AI from Anthropic, and we'll be combining it with a web scraping tool where on a previous video on the channel, we saw us scrape a website and we'll take that data that we scrape and we'll use it as an input into the AI tool to get out something amazing. As we dive into this video, first we're gonna take a look at why you might wanna use Claude over some of the other AI tools out there. Well, if you haven't heard the news, it is, it's doing great, <laughs> is what's going on with it. Uh, it scores really high on a number of things. And of course, you know, there are other releases, other things going on uh, beyond the world of just text. But if you're looking at just the world of text, uh, processing and doing smart things with text, then Claude is pretty great. Uh, number Item number two is let's just review in a previous video. Uh, we use this tool called Scraping Bee and we set up this scraper where you can go and check out the video on the channel if you are interested in this configuration. But basically we're gonna take it from here. We're gonna take the handoff and we're gonna you know push it over to the finish line. And in this, in our scenario here, what we're looking to build is basically something like this. So here is, you know, how it works, right? You, in, in your world, you create a top secret prompt, basically, AKA something that, uh, you know, is uses the input and outputs it in a, you know, intelligent way so that bubble can process it. And in this case, you know, we'll have the word day or day three or something like that. Uh, we could also put start here and end around it. And then we can, that way, cause this is just gonna come back in like one big response, right? Uh, but then we can, you know, in this case, we're creating a social media content plan, right? But imagine, <laughs> this is great, how easy this is, right? Somebody types in their uh, their website address and then they hit a button. In this case, we're going to say two buttons just because I want to show uh, the, eh, maybe we'll just go with the one. Uh, yeah, we will. So would they hit a button and then boom, out comes a 30 day social media content plan or whatever, whatever have you, right? Um, and we all know the, the uh, large language models capabilities at this point of doing this type of stuff, but this is a new introduction with the power of web scraping. Let's go and even take a look at this fancy graphic where we, uh, you know, the, the amount of possibilities that I mentioned in that previous video uh, is, is really quite, you know, it's unlimited. Uh, it's only limited to your imagination. So, uh, which, you know, imaginations, uh, last I checked, are pretty good. So we scrape the data, AI transform it into something useful, displayed in bubble. All right, that's enough intro. Let's dive in. First, you're going to head over to Anthropic where actually you'll see something like this. So if you go consoleanthropic.com, I believe it's slash login, or just go to uh, the Claude website, click on API, go to anthropic.com, click on API. You'll get in, you'll create an account, you'll be see something like this. Uh, you can claim your $5 uh, of free testing for by entering in your phone number, and then you'll, be, you'll get your keys from here and you'll be off and running. With that in hand, head over to the API connector where we'll do X dash API dash key, and we'll drop in our value. I think it's gonna be easiest to just go and import a call. So let's see, I'm going to grab this curl call, call here from create a message. Uh, we'll drop this into the, grab that. So this will just get us started. And I love these because uh, uh, they, save, they save a lot of time. Okay, so let's actually just bring these up here in case we're gonna do any other uh, stuff all this is uh, for anyone not familiar is it's the same thing. It's the header area um, and we're just having it being shared for all, all calls. Okay, so we'll do, we're gonna call this one the um, create 30 day social media calendar. It is an action JSON and then we do want that. We do want those for, for the max tokens. And then for the content, this is where we're going to say, <laughs> and we'll just initialize that. Okay, so we can see our response and <laughs> great. So thank you, Claude. So we can see that this is in content and that this is in text. So this is what we're gonna use uh, when this shows up. Okay, so now let's get to the powerful part, 
where again, this was previously set up in a, another video on the channel related to web scraping. If you want to know about these workflows, go and check that out. But so what we're going to do here is we're going to scrape this text. Then now we're going to introduce this new one where we're going to call the Claude API. And now I want to actually make it a little bit easier. So we'll add this here. Perfect. And then let's see, maybe we say now here. And it's a result of step ones. Body text, perhaps. Let's check this out. Yes, body text. Okay, cool. So right now, this thing is going to go out to get there. We're going to set the state of this. And which uh, before it actually showed the result of the scraping here, we want this to show the result of the 30 day uh, thing. So coming back from, if we take a look again at, it was content. So it's the result of step two. And it was the content. Let's go with the first item, text. And it's always good to verify that on a new new API content text. And we're just expecting it to come back uh, just with that. Now I am using the message API. We could also use the, um, the text completions API where you just, you know, say some stuff to it and have it give one thing back. Um, but you know, I think the message one is where it's at, although we'll, we're going to kind of leave it here in terms of where we where we're taking this, uh, particular, particular video. Okay. So we're going to enter that in and let's see what we get. Obviously, uh, you know, when, when you're waiting in the window on one of these things and it's like writing out all the stuff, I think it's writing out 30 of these. So, um, I think the the rule of thumb here then is to play around with things, right? And just create the most streamlined user experience as possible. Maybe you want to add some kind of loading feature. Okay, so cool. This is great. Here is a 30-day social media content plan for scraping bead. Start end, start end, start end. And you can see that we reached some kind of character limit actually. Um, but that's that's fine. This can be basically there are wrinkles to work out in Obviously, one of those ones is even taking this so that it would display. We could we could pull out this text and maybe we want to, you know, use a drag and drop like Kaban board style thing where we're delivering somebody something and then they can, you know, if they want to make their uh, get their 30 day stuff ready together, they can drag and drop different things around, order their 30 days. Maybe then they hit a button. You know, you could go so far as to get your API access set up on the different social media networks. So maybe you start with uh, just the Instagram API. Point is, is that you could take this a step further and a step further and a step further. And that's why, you know, in situations like this, it's, it's, a, it's actually who commits hardest to a project to see it all the way through, as well as market it, as well as do all those steps. Uh, but, you know, barring that stuff aside, uh, leave a comment in the comments if you like this style of video where we're, you know, combining multiple tools, we're exposing new ideas to the community here for ways to, you know, get more out of your bubble app and AI. Uh, if you did like the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more great tips about bubble. And thanks for watching.